and at the start in Brusselara this morning, there were 173 riders ready to take on the cobbles and the bergs of the Flemish Arde. Sky at the front, they've managed to get Luke Rowe up the road. There's been no breakaway until just a moment ago. Rowe allowed off the front, Sky blocking the road, and they now have control of the race. Oh no, two riders down. And what for not? This looks it could be. Of all of the people, it is what for not. Now, what happened? A quick look, it's the man who's signalling, who moves. Oh no! And what for not? Just gone straight into the marshal who was signalling those people. Luke Rowe about to be caught. Spare a thought for Wad van Aert, who's already crashed into a, a marshal today. Tony Martin looking behind and seeing some hesitation. This is his signal maybe to put the pressure on the pedals again. Oh, and Tony Martin is down. Oh, it was always going to happen to somebody. Hard lines for the man who was leading the race. Tony Martin down on the corner. Heinrich Hausler behind. Martin Naha's company. For all intents and purposes, he's back in the group. Stibar, who makes the move. 53 kilometers to go, and Zdeniek Stibar in cyclocross conditions making his move at the front. That's Stefan Kung with a mechanical problem at the bottom. Looks as though he might have been over the barrier on the far side. 50 kilometers to go. And at the head of the race, Alejandro Valverde. And on to the Knochterberg for the final time in this race. Third passage, it's just under two kilometers long. 11.8% maximum gradient, and Tish Penault makes a move. He's being followed straight away by Alejandro Valverde. Penault, alongside Van Avermaet going away. Valverde, for the first time, can't hack the pace. So Craig dropped from behind, Terpstra's first turn. Oof, he looks mightily fresh. Valverde's managed to hang on. There are 13 riders at the front with 25 k's left. Set for Marke there, alongside Yves Lompard, who's following in there, opening up a gap on Moscon. Approaching the final kilometre then. For the moment, looks as though it's going to be a five-up sprint. A lot of looking around. They have the gap they want, 30 seconds, but Pedersen decides to launch it. Pedersen goes with the next attack, the Danish champion. He's kept quiet so far, and it looks as though he's opened up half another bike length. Lompart is the man who really has to try and work hard to close it. Third wheel you have, Edward Bossenhagen, as they're approaching one kilometre to go now. But we are now just 800 metres from the finish of uh, Dwarzel of Landeren, and it's last year's year who takes off. Oh, the winner from last year, Yves Lompard, to go away, and nobody's following him. Nobody is following Yves Lompard. It's going to be two and two for the man from Quickstep. They all look around at each other, and that moment of hesitation taken advantage of by Yves Lompard. He did so much work early on in the day. He's got away again, and I think he's going to win it for two times in two years. He's got to hold on here. Yves Lompard to race for his life again as he looks round. Starts to smile, starts to realize what he's done. Behind Evel Bossenhagen, he's going to lead them in. But Lompard is 200 meters now away from a second successive win at Dwarsdor Vlanderen. It's quick step domination once more. It's two and two for the man from the farm. Yves Lompard wins Dwarsdor Vlanderen for a second year running. Two in two for Yves Lompard and Quick Step Floors. Still they continue to win, and it's 20 up for the season now. It's Deja Vu, Yves Lompard wins Varsdor Vlaanderen for the second year in succession. He beats Mike Turnison and Sepp von Marke into the second and third podium places.